No. The question is, what are in the current system, what are we taking out? So there, there are two th lines of thoughts. On the one hand, there is like, we need to do a moonshot and change everything. Well, if you take the analogy of a moonshot, you're going to the moon, you're leaving Earth. So it's basically, if you take that, if you apply that to education, it's basically leaving everything behind and starting off new. And I am more of the school, although I love moonshot thinking, which is again, sort of a metaphor, a, a metaphor but I'm of the school like, what can you take out? And then what, you, what, do you, what do you put in? And in terms of skill development, I think there we should look at essential literacies. Like uh, I would say like the literacy of um, creativity or innovation or happiness, well-being, um, etc. Because I think it's almost like a language. If you, if you understand how to live a happy life, it's the same like if you understand how to use a language. Um, so it's less knowledge, it's, it's how you use building blocks. And I think those are essential for any human being. If you look at the world as we have it now, it's, it's indeed the 21st century. We're just uh, a little bit more than 15 years into this century. And the 20th century, we, we made a lot of mess. Some people made a lot of mess. So what I like about your project is if we look at the coming hundred years, how could we as humanity change in a way that life on earth is sustainable? And education is the only way to change that. And I think next to that, what my prediction is, what you will see is that because of a change in education, we will change our DNA and our DNA uh, hopefully will allow us to be more future-oriented and therefore we need to have future-oriented skills.